If you import a list of subscribers or if they join your newsletter through a form, you can assign them to a group. And if you don't do anything with them and just leave them alone, they will just stay in that group. With segments, it's a little different. You can set some conditions, and then if your subscribers meet those conditions, they will be put into a segment. Now, if they don't meet those conditions in the future, they will be taken out of that segment. And in the further future, if they meet them again, they will go back into that segment. And with the powerful segment filters, you can really be specific about who will be or won't be in the specific segment. And here's how you can set that up. To create a segment, go to subscribers right over here. And you can either start filtering here. And once you do that, you'll see the save a segment button here. Or you can go to segments. And from here, click create segment. And then you start with the name. I want people from the meetup group that have their name field set. I'm going to click create. And I'm going to choose a filter. I'm going to go with the group because that's what I wanted. Choose an operator belongs to. And the group I want is the meetup group here. And as we see, we have 10 people in the meetup group. Then I can add another condition. Choose a filter, fields. I want people with the name field set, like I said. And I'm going to choose is set. There we go. We got only eight subscribers that have their name field set that are in the meetup group. And now we can save the changes. And now every time someone joins the meetup group and has their name set, they will be automatically added to this segment. And if they are not in this group anymore, or if their name isn't set anymore, they will be taken out of the segment. For example, if I click one of these subscribers, and I go ahead and click Edit, and delete the name here, click Save Changes, and go back to my last screen here. We see 8, nothing changed. But if I click Refresh, we see we now only have 7 subscribers in this group. Now, of course, we can add more conditions like sign up sources, location, sign up date, time zone, campaigns, automation workflows, time inactive, stats, use subscribers. We can also add an or condition. So either this filter here or this one will be used. So I can go with the groups, choose an operator, belongs to or doesn't belong to if I want. Here it belongs to the team. Now, instead of seven, I have 47. Then I can go ahead and click Save Changes, and I'm ready to go. Let me just make sure I have the segment in Segments. Here it is, Meetup Name. And now I can use this in Campaigns. I can go to one of my campaigns and click Recipients. And if I have all active subscribers here, I will see in Segments the segment I created, Meetup Name, and I can exclude it, for example. Or if I just want to use this segment, I can go ahead and uncheck the box here and click Meetup Name. And now I will send this campaign only to these 47 subscribers. I can also use this in Automations. For example, in Automations, I'm going to go ahead and click Edit here in this automation. And I can add a condition, condition, and I'm going to select Segment Membership here. And I'm going to select Meetup Name and click Save. In this case, when a subscriber joins the group called Cat Lovers, they will get this email. And then if these subscribers are also in the Meetup group and have their name set, they will go to this branch. If they don't meet these conditions, they will go to this branch over here. So that's how you can create segments and a couple of examples how you can actually use them. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.